Brothers and sisters, there's a word this morning, and I, I'm going to be coming from Revelation 9, verse 20, but I want to set it up this morning. I want to set this thing up for you, because we've been in the book of Revelation. We have taken our time over the last six months to study the book of Revelation, and we saw and we had an opportunity to peek into the future to see what was going to happen. And then we had an opportunity to understand what we're dealing with right now. And because we have a hunger and thirst for Christ, he opens up our understanding and we're able to actually understand what God is saying even in the book of Revelation. So one of the things we learned up to this point, because we're gonna be reading from Revelation 9 verse 20, that's gonna be our launching pad is there was a lot of things that, that were building up to this point. There were plagues, there were some things that, were, that, that will go on and are going on. And the one thing that people did was they were consumed with whatever the plague was and trying to protect themselves from what was happening. And so it is written in Revelation 9, verse 20, after all these things were happening, and you'll have to go back and read what came before this for yourself. But this is where I want to rest my hat today. It is written, but the people who did not die in these plagues still refused to repent of their evil deeds and turn to God. They continued to worship demons and idols made of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood. Idols that can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or their witchcraft or their sexual immorality of their thefts. I want to rest my hat on this this morning related to what we're seeing in the land right now. But I want to talk to you about a virus that's much greater than what you're hearing about today. And the subject of this message is the mother of all viruses. You know, there's always a mother load. There's always something greater than what you see. So there's a mother of all viruses. And that mother of all viruses is unrepentance. It's a plague. People have taken on a, a plague of unrepentance and God is doing everything he can to shake us, to get our attention, to say, I am God. I love you. I don't want to force you to want me, but I want you to know that there is a timeline for things to happen. And I'm trying to show you this is the time to repent. Brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but as I'm watching the news and I'm seeing things on TV and everybody's talking about ways they can get themselves safe, wear masks and all of these other things, even the healthcare practitioners don't even have uh, enough masks, so they have to find them somewhere. People going out and buying these masks, trying to protect themselves from the coronavirus but I'm not hearing anybody talk about how to protect yourself from the stain of sin. How do we protect ourselves from the stain of sin? It's called repentance. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, his Hebrew name, he came to show us the way. The word of God says he is the truth, the way and the life, and no one gets to the Father but through him. Those of us who believe in him, repent of our sins, repent, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. How many of us have repented of our sins? That's a daily thing. You know that, don't you? That's a daily thing. We, we, we should be repenting because every day we live, there are some things that we may do, but we didn't wake up in the morning desiring to go do that thing that God said not to do. So God says there is a method to the madness. When you wake up, first and foremost, you're not desiring to go and sin, but when you stumble and you know you're going to stumble, he says it in Matthew 18, 7, that the world has set up stumbling blocks. When you stumble, get up, repent, 
It don't go that way anymore. So brothers and sisters, how many of us today have repented for the things that we stumbled over? How many of us, after we're seeing what's going on in the earth right now, are we so consumed with what we see happening, so consumed with getting our masks that we have missed the mother of all viruses, which is unrepentance?